A common misconception is that genuine science and religion are fundamentally at odds. Sometimes this misconception arises in response to flawed religious ideas, but often the culprit is a philosophic stance that has been called scientism. Scientism involves the claim that nothing exists beyond what can be studied and verified by the methods of the natural sciences. It says that only that which can be measured, observed, weighed, or somehow shown to belong to the physical world is real. Christianity is very much in favor of all this reality that can be measured and observed. It just doesn't want to be so narrow-minded as to say, that's all the reality there is. Ironically, scientism itself is a philosophic claim that cannot be studied or verified by the methods of the natural sciences. For that reason, few people formally claim to be adherents of scientism, although its beliefs play a powerful role in how many think about questions of God and religion. To get at the problem of scientism as it relates to religion, imagine this. Your friend Ludwig has invented an amazing satellite dish that can pick up every kind of radio wave in existence. As Ludwig shows off his impressive invention, you muse, I wonder if there are other kinds of waves out there that aren't radio waves. No, replies Ludwig, there are only radio waves. This surprises you. Really? How do you know that? It's simple, Ludwig responds. We know only radio waves exist because we've never picked up anything but radio waves on my dish. You're confused. But I thought your dish was designed only to pick up radio waves. Yes, Ludwig confirms. So might there not be other sorts of waves out there that aren't radio waves, you press. No, because we have only ever picked up radio waves on our dish, Ludwig replies resolutely. You like Ludwig, but his circularity confounds you. Ludwig's circular logic is the very kind of logic at the basis of scientism. Belief or faith in the dogmas of scientism has led many to conclude that God, angels, and the human soul do not exist, simply because the natural sciences do not detect such realities directly. But this is a mistake. Humanity has gained many remarkable achievements and insights through the natural sciences, but they are fundamentally and intentionally limited to the exploration of the physical world. To say that the natural sciences do not detect the existence of an immaterial God is only to define properly the domain for the study of the natural sciences. It says nothing about the existence of God. The ability to explain the inner workings of the physical universe is an impressive feat, but it is not the same as explaining the metaphysical origins of that universe. The scientific mind impressed and distracted by the spectacular gains of natural science, likes to pretend that metaphysical questions of existence are unimportant just because they are not answerable by the natural sciences. But pretending a question is unimportant does not make it unimportant. Contrary to this profound misconception that Christianity and science are intrinsically incompatible, the truth is that Christianity has never had an actual problem with genuine natural science. In fact, the Christian view of the world has historically provided rich soil for scientific advances of all kinds. The Christian belief that the physical world is a creation, gift and reflection of our loving God, has spurred scientific investigation and discovery through history. So let's be clear about this. The problem has never been between Christianity and natural science. The problem is between Christianity and a flawed philosophic view called scientism.